Kia ora. In this video lesson, we are going to be talking about perimeter. We should know that perimeter is simply the distance around the outside of a shape. It's a one-dimensional measurement, and by that I mean you could take this trapezium and you could unfold it so the distance around is simply one straight line. So here, if the perimeter is 17 centimeters, that means all the way around the outside of the shape is 17 centimeters. I see this side is six and that side is one centimeter. So if seven centimeters are already used and it's 17 all the way around, 17 minus seven means that these two Y's add up to 10, meaning one Y would be five centimeters. Let's have another one. What's the perimeter of this square? Again, perimeter is a one dimensional measurement and it would use centimeters, millimeters, kilometers or anything like that. So square, we know all sides are the same length. 14 times four is eight times seven. That is 56 centimeters. Once again, last one here, perimeter of the rectangle. If that side is 10, that bottom side is 10. If that side, short side is one, that short side is one. 10, 20, 21, 22 centimeters would be the perimeter. I'll be right back with a video lesson on area. Okay, welcome back. Now we're going to be talking about area. And the area of a shape is the amount of space inside. So where perimeter is just the distance around the outside, a one-dimensional measurement, when it comes to area, it's a two-dimensional measurement, and that's why we would use square centimeters or square millimeters, depending on it. So for a triangle, we've got base times height, cut it in half. So 4 times 4 is 16, and that means the half of that 8 square centimeters would be the area. Now for the square... So with a triangle, if I were to go diagonally corner to corner, I split that square into two triangles. That's why the triangle area is base times height, cut it in half. For a square, base times height, 7 times 7, 49 square meters. When we're talking about area again, it's a two-dimensional measurement. That's why we use square meters. Okay, here we go. Triangle back. Base times height, got to cut it in half. You could also just take that 10, cut it in half, 5, 7 times 5, 35 square meters. Okay, last one, a triangle. Base times height, cut it in half. So 7 times 4, 28 square kilometers. All right, now you're ready to do some problems on area. I'll be right back with the last part on volume. Okay, now we're back for our final topic, which is volume. Now, we've said that perimeter is a one-dimensional measurement, just a straight line all the way around. Area is a two-dimensional measurement. Now we move to volume. This is a three-dimensional measurement. We've got a base, we've got a height, and we've also got depth. That's why for volume, you're going to use cubic units, in this case, centimeters. So 4 times 4 is 16 times another 4 gives us 64 cubic centimeters, cubic centimeters. Please use a calculator if you need to. Now, the method for finding any volume is going to be find the area of the flat surface on the shape and then times by the depth. So in this case, we're going to use pi is 3.14. We should know that the formula for the area of a circle is pi times radius times radius. Now we are told here that this is the diameter. This is all the way across, which is four. That means the radius is half that. So we're gonna take 3.14 times that by the radius times the radius, which in this case times two times two. And we get the area of the circle. So the area of the circle on top is 12.56. We're gonna take that area of 12.56 and times it by 3, giving us 37.68. 37.68. And we got that super. Okay, now back to the volume of a cube. Whatever the front face is, in this case, the front face is a square. You'll find the area of that front face, 6 times 6, which gives us 36 and then times it by the depth of so 36 times 6, which gives us 216 cubic 
centimeters, 216 cubic centimeters. Let's do one more together. So for the volume, well, what's the front face of this shape? It's a triangle. We know the formula for the area of a triangle is base times height, cut it in half. So eight times five is 40. Cutting that in half gives 20. So the area of the face is 20 square millimeters. Timesing that 20 by the depth two gives us 40 square, or sorry, cubic millimeters. Volume uses cubic units, area uses square units, and perimeter uses just the units, okay? There you have it. Any pa thai, please send them my way. Thanks for watching. Maori mahi, Maori ora, kakite ano.